Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make curry bawal, which is a pon fruit fish curry. It's, it's a curry flavor with a little bit of sourish in it. Yeah. So you are here, you are looking at uh, one, probably about four, five hundred grams of pon fruit. I cut it into uh, cutlets. Yeah. Marinate it with a bit of salt after washing. Then I will be adding some extra veggie into this curry, some uh, okra, few pieces of okra, few pieces, few chunks of tomato, and a lot of tau pok. Why I added so much tau pok? Because um, my wife doesn't really like to eat prawn fried fish, but she loves the tau pok, so um, she can enjoy all the tau pok she wants. After that, how do we make the curry? Not difficult. I always mix my own curry powders. This is two tablespoons of red chili powder, one tablespoon of um, fish fish curry powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of turmeric powder. So the ratio is two one one. Actually, these three is the most important thing. Uh, the ready mix curry powder here from any brand, it is optional. Then we have some curry leaves. We have some curry leaves, right? Can we, is it focus? Curry leaves, some minced uh, red onion, minced ginger, minced um, fresh coriander roots. This is a, a yellow onion and also garlic. So a bit more on the yellow onion, the rest is about one tablespoon. This is probably about two tablespoons or even more. This will make give you the curry paste, yeah? Then for the sourish flavor, you need some asam paste. And I'll be using my cooking appa chicken st stock powder to enhance the flavor. So instead of adding water, I will add water plus my chicken powder. Immediately it will become chicken stock. Not forgetting you want to add in some coconut milk. This is actually coconut cream and I will probably add in some evaporated milk as well. Right, get a wok, give it a good amount of oil here. Anything curry, you need a good amount of oil. Once the oil is heated up, we will put in the fresh ingredient here. Ginger, garlic, shallot, curry leaves, and fresh corner roots. Saute this for a minute or two before we continue. This is after approximately uh, one, two minutes sorting. Next thing I'm going to lower the heat to uh, low fire. After which I'm adding in the mixed curry powder here. Your wok need to be on low heat as you add in the curry powders. If not, it can get burned extremely easy. Yeah? So you want to saute this and while you are doing this, you can slowly uh, increase the fire to a medium low or medium and slowly saute this for the next couple of minutes. And you need to keep on sorting uh, and stirring. If not, it can actually get burned very easily. Yeah? If it get burned, it will be bitter. Your curry will be bitter. So keep on stirring. We'll come back shortly. Alright, this is approximately 4 minutes after sorting. Uh, I did add a little bit more oil here. I purposely wanted uh, to create more chili oil for this particular dish today. Next thing, we can actually add in the hot water. And to make this hot water to become chicken stock, I'm adding 1 to 2 teaspoons of my cooking alpha chicken stock powder. Done, chicken stock. <laughs> Simple, right? For those interested, you can get this cooking appa chicken stock powder from both uh, Malaysia and Singapore Shopee. So we can now pre-season this. I'm raising the heat right now. I'll give it some salt, some sugar, and I'm adding some fish sauce. So now that it has uh, started boiling, I'm going to tune down to uh, medium or medium low. Let it simmer for the next three to five minutes to really allow the curry flavor to 
release. Oh yeah, let's add in one tablespoon full of Assam paste. Alright, this is after another about three, around about three, four minutes simmering. Now I'm going to add in the veggie. Let's bring up the heat. I will cook the veggie for probably about five minutes. I find the broth a little bit too thick just now, so I actually added about one bowl, one small bowl of water inside, hot water. You can actually add a little bit more uh, chicken salt powder also. Right, this is after about four minutes. I will take out the okra. The tau pho is so, so okay. And it's nicely soak up the flavor. Now I'm going to add in the fish. Ikan bawal. I'm actually using Chinese corn fruit today. It wouldn't take very long for the fish to get cooked. It should be somewhere between about 2 minutes plus minus. Alright, this is about 2-3 minutes. I covered the lid to help with the cooking process. Yeah? Oh. Very fragrant. The fish is definitely fully cooked by now. Hmm, it's actually already very creamy even before I add in any milk or coconut milk. Um, let me add in some evaporated milk. Let me test. Mmm. Sourish, savory. I think I will give it a little bit more sugar. I can off, off the fire right now. A little bit more sugar. And a bit more fish sauce or salt. Done. So here's the all the veggie just now inside a clay pot. Uh, and this the fish. Let me garnish it with some fried onion. Alright. Done. So I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.